Okay, so we're just going to discuss the basics of phase. This here is a pure sine wave. This line right down the middle is known as the zero point crossing. So anytime the position of a wave vertically, whether it's parallel or just briefly intersecting with it, the speaker is currently resting. It's not moving. It's not pushing out or pulling in. Anytime the waveform goes above this line, that represents the current position of the speaker pushing out. And then anytime it goes underneath, the speaker's pulling back. So what this is, is phase. And we can measure the phase in degrees. So typically it's measured starting at the zero point crossing here. And then the first point of a perfect sine wave would be 90 degrees at the top, 180 again at the zero point crossing, 270 here at the bottom, and a full 360 or zero would be considered one cycle of the wave function. Anytime in live the point of the wave hits or exceeds the top, you've either hit zero decibels or exceeded that respectively. So if the wave hits this top portion here, we are hitting zero decibels and we can measure that. Perfectly zero. So a very important thing to keep in mind of when dealing with the concept of phase is to consider cancellations. So again, we have this sine wave, and at zero degrees, the wave starts above the zero point crossing. What I did is I duplicated that, actually inverted the phase, so it starts under the zero point crossing by the same amount. The reason why you're seeing two is because we have the left and right stereo pair on both, but the phase is actually inverted precisely. It's, it's perfectly inverted. So what happens is when we play this by itself, you hear the sine wave, but then as we mix in its inverted pair, and as we hit zero, you'll notice that it actually goes away completely. So we're seeing audio here. It's being measured. We have two channels at zero decibels, but then the master perfectly canceled out. So what's happening in Ableton Summing Engine is it's adding up all these waves on all your tracks to reach the master or the final sum of the waves together. So when we have one wave function and then we have its exact opposite added together, the result is negative infinity. The result is nothing. So it's the equivalent of saying 10 plus negative 10 equals zero. This is something that happens quite frequently on accident. And it's important to think about during the mixing process. Sometimes just simply flipping the phase on any given track can be extremely helpful. You can do this with a utility. And this right here is the invert left and invert right buttons. And now the phase on this particular track is totally inverted. So I'll demonstrate that. And it's back to normal.